Okay, recording part. So today we are going to discuss curvilinear coordinates. Huh. Curvilinear coordinates. So stem so we discuss the one the. <clears throat> so before discussing that, I think all of you are familiar with the Cartesian coordinate system. All of you are familiar with Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system. So we have the x axis, this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this is the z axis. This is the Cartesian coordinate system. <clears throat> any point in three, three dimensions, any point in three, three dimensions, it can be defined by three coordinates x, y, and z. What does this x correspond to? X corresponds to x, y, z. So the x is okay now. The sticky point sticky corresponding x coordinate. How do we find that? We drop a, a, a line perpendicular to the x, y plane, and, and then we draw a line parallel to the uh, y axis and this cuts this line cuts the x axis at the point x so this is the x coordinate of this point similarly uh, so that this point gives the y coordinate see this length and this length they are the same so this is the corresponding y coordinate and this gives you the corresponding z coordinate or you can also say that this length is x this length is y this length is z any point in three dimensions well, can be defined by using our uh, rectangular coordinates or Cartesian coordinates. Any point key x, y, z, x corresponds to x coordinate, y corresponds to y coordinate, z corresponds to z coordinate. Then <clears throat> let me give you another picture. Can you see this picture? Ubra, can you see this picture? Yes, sir. Oh, sir. We got. So this is the x axis. This is the x axis. This is the y axis. And this is the z axis. Now, Zeta, can you see the z equal to zero plane? This plane, z equal to zero plane. This is also the xy plane. Adana, you take z equal to zero and for any value of x and y, or for all possible values of x and y, it will define a plane. And this plane is the z equal to zero plane. And y equal to zero plane. Y equal to zero plane in the Kari Y equal to zero plane will be the xz plane. This xz plane. And z equal to zero plane, uh, sorry, x equal to zero plane. What will be the x equal to zero plane? The x equal to zero plane will give you the yz plane. And call x equal to zero, have day you decrease the value of x from here till it reaches zero. Then all possible values of y and z will give you a plane. And this is the yz plane. So, in rectangular coordinate system, the coordinates x, y, z, if you put one of them to zero, say for example, x equal to zero, then it is a plane. It is the equation of a plane. And what is the plane? It is the y, z plane. Similarly, if you put y equal to zero, it is the x, z plane. And similarly, if you put z equal to zero, it is the x, y plane. Now, if I put Z equal to five. Z equal to five, and I do put in a low low target. What will what will that be? Z equal to five. How you say plane number any call? It will also be a plane. How how you plane to carry the leg any can have a parallel leg any.
Okay. So what is a z equal to five plane? The z equal to five plane will be a plane which is drawn by this pink, pink four lines. It is a plane which cuts the z axis at the value five. Z equal to five. Sigi pointida. Sigi pointida. Ye eva plane, a plane which is parallel to the z equal to zero plane. That there will be the z equal to five plane. Can I recall? So z equal to five plane is this plane which cuts the z axis at the, the value z equal to five and which which is parallel to the x y plane. So sin hybrid kind of I give I give x y z coordinate ahumze. Sigi manunda you take any one of them and you equate them to a constant. For example, z. To take z equal to five and then what will that represent? That will represent a plane which is parallel to the z equal to zero plane and which cuts the z axis at the value five. Similarly, x equal to one, x equal to one, it will also represent a plane which is parallel to the x equal to zero plane, this plane, oh, x equal to zero plane and cuts the x axis at x equal to one. Similarly, when you put y equal to some constant, it will also be a plane. Aduna, Sidagi, Equina Karikane, Equina coordinate, just coordinate Ahumzi, and a constant Ahumanga, Equate or Gadi. What do we get? We get planes. Plane Bangeva. And these planes, they will intersect along the x axis, y axis, or z axis. So, for example, say the Yangasi, let us look at z equal to zero plane and x equal to zero plane. Z equal to zero plane and x equal to zero plane. So, see plane an easy try the intersect away. Z equal to zero plane ga, x equal to zero plane ga. Plane an easy try the intersect away. These two planes, this plane and this plane, they intersect at the y-axis. Why is y-axis the intersect away ga? I repeat. Z equal to zero plane ziga, x equal to zero plane, plane ziga, they intersect at the y axis. Similarly, z equal to zero plane ziga, y equal to zero plane ziga, they intersect along the x axis. In a similar way, y equal to zero plane ziga, z equal to zero plane ziga, they intersect along the z axis. And I go, Sinico. So, I can use the Cartesian coordinate system. It represents a plane. x equal to 0, y equal to 0, plane. And intersect x equal to 0, y equal to 0. These two planes they intersect along the z axis. So, I to x equal to zero, z equal to zero plane, ga, they intersect along the y axis. And similarly, x equal to uh, y equal to zero plane, ga, z equal to zero plane, plane ga, they intersect along the x axis. Partition coordinate systems in Nataba. Quina school da, a top coordinate system in Tangre. Adudi Karikari no. We learned in two dimensions, the polar coordinates, in three dimensions, the spherical polar coordinates, the cylindrical coordinates. Point Amazi, I X, Y, Z represent the word Vina. I give Cartesian coordinate system, the X, Y, Z represent the word Vina. A atopa coordinate system gi coordinate must represent the way agani have. So any point in three dimensions, they can be represented either in Cartesian coordinates or in coordinates of other systems. So first let us discuss uh, the topic transformation of coordinates. 
transformation of coordinates have say way is the star of so for that let me switch on the video and go okay so transformation of coordinates transformation of coordinates transformation of coordinates have you seen discuss or so going to any point in three dimensions ka any point p or c any point say this point can be described by my rectangular coordinates x y z this point can be described by my rectangular coordinates x y z so mind out the na atopa coordinates so we define to vi this point can also be described by the three coordinates of another coordinate system so first let us consider let the rectangular coordinates x y z of any point be expressed so now x y z coordinate system in x y z so the point b is never so let the rectangular coordinates x y z of any point be expressed as functions of another coordinates at the three variables u1 u2 u3 so that so that ka x is some function of u1 this is u1 u2 u3 similarly y is some function of u1 u2 u3 and similarly z is some function of u1 u2 u3 i give point amagi rectangular coordinates x y z c so akoi three variable ka u1 u2 u3 have gi variable ahum gi atopa ka atopa variable ahum gi function oina express taro se ka adu dege amuk suppose that the sig is equal equation number 1 goes ka suppose that suppose that equations one ka equation 1 can be solved so ka for u1 u2 u3 have you decided this equation number 1 what does it what does it do it expresses x y z as functions of u1 u2 u3 arba and now let us assume that these three equations can be solved so to give u1 u2 u3 in terms of x y and z i will see equations in the invert the vi in the color circle so to be in terms of x y and z in terms of in terms of x y z so oh, i'm sorry so this is for some note this is a small high number in terms of suppose that equation 1 can be solved for u1 u2 u3 in terms of x y and z have you okay. right, oh. <clears throat> so we assume that this equation number 1 is invertible that is we can solve u1 u2 u3 in terms of x y and z that means u1 can be written as some function of x y z u2 can also be written as function of x y and z 
u3 can also be written as a function of x, y, and z. Select record. I do already. Select it. Oh, I can have I see. I know. See point. Ama describe to riba. I give x, y, z. See if they can be expressed as functions of u1, u2, u3, and then if these functions are invertible in the sense that you can also be expressed as u1, u2, u3 as functions of x, y, and z. I record. This gives you question number. These three questions represent question number two. I recall the functions in this equation number one. These functions, these three functions in equation number one, and these three functions in equation number two. Oh, the functions, the functions in equations, oh, equations one and two. Are assumed to be are assumed to be single valued. Are assumed to be single valued and to have continuous derivatives. So that. The correspondence between so that the correspondence between x y z x y z and u one u two u three is unique. I recall. I think today the, today the functions today the, today the goal is a function of whom? Function one, two, three. Function of whom? Equation one gi, equation two gi. Function of whom? One, two, three. These three functions are assumed to be single valued and and to have continuous derivatives so that the correspond correspondence between x, y, z and u one, u two, u three is unique. I will tell you for a given value of u one, u two, u three, there is only one value of x, y, and z. For a given value of x, y, and z, there is only one corresponding value of u1, u2, u3. One to one correspondence now. For the unique way of call. Sigi sini, hello, Rebo. Yarba. Ado, Riga D. Koina Kari Pange, say the given a point P. With rectangular coordinates x, y, z, we can from equation number two associate a unique. Set of coordinates U one, U two, U three, called the curvilinear coordinates. Coordinates of P. I recall the sets, the sets of equations one or two define a transformation of coordinates. T R A N S O R M A T I O N transformation of coordinates. Okay, what is the meaning? The meaning is that for a given point P, whose rectangular coordinates are x, y, z, we can call, associate a unique set of coordinates u1, u2, u3. 
Yareko Aduna point number the equin a magic rectangular coordinates x, y, z. I define to do x, y, z is his in the We can also associate another unique set of coordinates u1, u2, u3. Oh, such that u1, u1, u2, u3 can be expressed as functions of x, y, and z. Oh. <clears throat> this u1, u2, u3, this u1, u2, u3 are called the curvilinear coordinates of P. The sets of equations, equations one, two, or three, this set of equations, sorry, equations key, equation number one key, equation of whom? Not regard, equation number two key, equation of whom? This define a transformation of coordinates. Coordinate amada gi, coordinate amada transform to wa. So the yam live example amo inasi gi u1, u2, u3 c. This can be the coordinates of spherical polar coordinate system. Spherical polar coordinate system gi coordinates will be a yam u1, u2, u3 c. So this uh, XYZ can be expressed in terms of the spherical polar coordinates are theta and phi. Similarly, are theta and phi, they can be expressed as coordinates of x, y, z. So I don't know any recall. So uh, before proceeding further, let me ask you whether you are familiar with spherical polar coordinates. Spherical polar coordinates, no familiar with about. Spherical coordinate system. Tadrava. Okay, spherical polar coordinate system. The equine carides says in the Gregian is in the Kanda. When we determine the electric potential of a spherical spherical charge object. We use spherical polar coordinates. And when we, we determine the gravitational potential energy of a spherical body of mass capital M, we use the spherical polar coordinate system. This you did in your uh, 12th class, 11th class, and probably in your mechanics class this year. Spherical polar coordinates is in error. So for, as an example of this, we can write u1, u2, u3, z, they can be written as, uh, say for example, this u1, u1 can be identified with r. Oh, so the a person higher again, example. Oh, example, the way we have the spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinates. What are those? R, theta, phi. Oh. So <clears throat> this equation number one, x, y, z, they can be expressed in terms of u1, u2, u3, have in the car. So x, y, z, they can be expressed in terms of r, theta, and phi. u1 is in the r, ni, u2 is in the theta, ni, u3 is in the phi. Ni. So in spherical coordinates, x is nothing but r sine theta. What is y? Y is nothing but, uh, sorry, r sine theta cos phi, cos phi one. Y is r sine theta sine phi. Z is r cos theta. So now, now, spherical color, uh, uh, spherical coordinate system, r theta phi the, X, a Cartesian coordinate X, a, this can be expressed. Well, this can be expressed in terms of uh, expressed as R sine theta cos phi. Y can be expressed as R sine theta sine phi. Z can be expressed as R cos phi. I recall. Smile to the number R ne theta ne phi ne. Similarly, R theta and phi can be expressed as functions of X. Y and Z. That is R theta phi. This can be expressed as functions of X, Y, and Z. For example, for R, the answer is very simple. R is rho over 
x square plus y square plus z square. This is r. And what is theta? What is phi? This you find out as your homework. How do you express theta as functions of x, y, and z? How do you express phi as functions of x, y, and z? You do it as your homework to, uh, to try to find out these two expressions. So we I have somebody control over God. Aduna, I go spherical polar coordinates to give say that Cartesian coordinate that combine transform the uni. And the game of Cartesian coordinate system to give spherical polar coordinates to combine the transform the way of any have said it is given by these two sets of equations, and this sets of equations are called the transformation equations. That trigger transformation of coordinates. Oh, the transformation of coordinates. So it is not defined however. Okay. Now let us define curvilinear coordinates. So now spherical polar coordinates. This is one simple example of curvilinear coordinates. So in general, in general, what is a curvilinear coordinate? Curvilinear coordinates. Have you combined like I have a question to discuss also. So <clears throat> okay. So P have a point I'm like, I have a point P. Can I go? Point P, how do you say that? So it's a curvilinear coordinates. C U R V I L I N E A R coordinates. In terms of X, Y, Z coordinates, in terms of our Cartesian coordinates, this point P, this point P will have coordinates X, Y, and Z. I recall. In terms of the curvilinear coordinates, U1, U2, U3, the, uh, this will have a different set of coordinates. So at, at point P, uh, let us draw the surfaces. The surfaces u1 equal to some constant other constant of curry colors again c1 cross a do the key u2 equal to another constant c2 and the u3 equal to another constant c3 where c1 and c2 where c1 c2 c3 are constants so these surfaces are called very okay have the Coordinate surfaces cover. Coordinate surfaces. These surfaces are called coordinate surfaces. So U1 equal to C. In this given figure, what is the U1 equal to constant surface? U1 equal to constant surface is this surface. This is the u1 equal to constant surface. This is u1 equal to c, c1. And I call other degree u2 equal to c2. u2 equal to c2. However, surface in the curve surface now. I agree. This is the u2 equal to c2. Sig 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 surface never. This is the u2 equal to c2 surface. Narva other degree. U3 equal to C3 surface. How is the curve of surface now? CG surface now. U3 equal to C3 surface is this surface. So this surface is the U1 equal to C1 surface. This surface is the U2 equal to C2 surface. This surface is the U3 equal to C3 surface. Yarba. I recall. So the giddy today, you know, each pair, each pair of these surfaces intersect in curves. Intersect in curves. Nerva, which are called coordinate curves co 
coordinate curves or coordinate lines. Siniko, I couldn't aside discuss though here with Cartesian coordinate system with in Cartesian coordinate system, x equal to constant, it represents a plane, which the y equal to another constant, it represents another plane. Z equal to another constant, it represents another plane. But then plane change in the have a these planes intersect along curves. So let me show you the, uh, the picture once again. Let me show you the picture once again. See the picture you read In this picture, x equal to constant is this plane. Z equal to constant is, is, is this plane. So x equal to constant, z equal to constant, these two planes, they intersect along the y-axis. Similarly, x equal to uh, y equal to constant and z equal to constant, they intersect along the x-axis. So, uh, surface So u1 have a coordinate. U1 equal to constant, it will represent this surface. U2 equal to C2 Thamagana, it will represent this surface. U3 equal to C3 Hagana, it will represent this surface. These three surfaces are called coordinate surfaces. So called Cartesian system, the zoo, coordinate surfaces lay to path. Each, each pair of these surfaces intersect in curves, and these curves are called coordinate curves or coordinate lines. So, you know? U2 equal to constant. It, you look at this surface, U2 equal to some constant C2, and U3 equal to C3, some constant. These two surfaces, they intersect along a curve. It is this curve. And what is this curve? This curve is the U1 curve. U1, U1 coordinate curve or U1 line. Similarly, U1 equal to C1, high basic surface. U3 equal to C3 high basic surface. These two surfaces, they intersect along this curve, and this curve is called the U2 coordinate curve. So I told you U1 equal to C1 and U2 equal to C2. Surface uneasy, they intersect along this curve, and this curve is called the U3 coordinate curves. This is how the coordinate curves or coordinate lines are defined. 